Hello guys, it's Nadia And today we're gonna talk about Sparky Eye This is the most probably interesting video for me creating because I never thought that some of the filters are gonna go over 3 million impressions gonna be tons of shares and now there are filters who are people discussing I mean like not that many people discussing but still people discussing those and we're gonna go from the app that took me basically maybe 30 minutes of creating but it's massive now for I mean for, for out of all the filters that I have I have more than 100 filters this is the massive filter and it's called Pantone Pantone seriously I will put the video of this filter over here Pantone I mean I never thought that this filter will go anywhere the way how my idea went for the creation of this filter was basic, so basic, so basic that you can't even imagine. I just saw people loving those palette filters. They were like kind of obsessed with those palette filters and I was just like, hmm, I should create something, but I don't want just a basic palette filter. So first thing I think I created with the hearts, um, the palette heart or whatever that I called, or it was after the Pantone, I I'm not sure, but still, it's... Pantone filter. <laughs> so there were palettes and I was just like, okay, I should do something. And those palettes remind me of the Pantone color, like this whatever thing is that, code mode. And I was just like, should I try? Maybe I should try. So I found on YouTube video, I will try to put the link in the comment below where I found how to create this palette filter. And then I was just like, yeah, I should put those Pantone over there and it should work. So basically when I uploaded the filter, I was just like, yeah, let's see how it's gonna go. And for the first time, it wasn't like working that much. It was just like maybe 100, 200 impressions. I was just like, mm, fine, fine. It's going fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. And now it has like over 3 million kind of impressions and shares a lot of shares. I mean, I don't know the stats exactly. This video is all about like how I came up with the idea and what are the name of the filters and how they look. So you can just see how simple filter might be in order to just go crazy on uh, Instagram. So the next filter, the second one, is a cute baby face. That filter was popular that time when I was creating it and I can't say that the quality of the filter is really good so I'm kind of reviewing myself also on that filter. So it's not that uh, good quality but it was just random. I was like, I need some hype and uh, to be honest, honestly going for honesty i needed some hype for like getting more people to see my filters and i was just like okay so mm, i will try to do that so i did this cute baby face it's not the same as the original cute baby face of the creator i don't remember who was the cre original creator of that filter but i was like yeah i should do something like that so i copied even the name even though creators say don't copy the name mm, it's really bad you should create your own name Hey, seriously, you have over like 2 million whatever followers is that, so in, it's okay to just use the name. I don't see the problem with that. If you see the problem with that, it's fine with me. I mean, it's just a name. So there's tons of people whose name is Hope. There's tons of people whose name is whatever is like uh, Alex. So it's just the name of the filter. The inside is a different option. So I created this cute baby face, so I thought that people are gonna be like, oh yeah, it's kind of really bad filter, so we're not gonna use it. And I'm like, mm. But I did it really for hype, I was hoping for getting tons of the impressions, that was the goal. And the main part of the filter, I think that blow up the filter for also like 3 million impressions, a lot of shares, is that because I use the keywords and I use the exact keywords like cute baby face, baby face, uh, cute face, um, nice face, uh, makeup face. <laughs> so basically that's the keyword I use for the filter. And at some point it wasn't working also as good as it's later. I don't know, maybe someone with a lot of followers shared that filter. I have no clue because I never checked who posting stories with the filter. Like I never did this kind of thing. Only like if someone is tagging me, then I see that you used my filter. But not in any other cases. I never checked that out because there's over 100 filters and I'm just like, okay, I don't know like who used which one, should I 
like when uh, Spike Yar or show that oh yeah now you can see who using your filter in reels I'm trying to see that because I'm kind of curious who is using um, the filter and in reels it's kind of easy to see that tap to the filter tap to the icon and see who posted the stars so the cute baby face was kind of copycat thing like um, I see no problems with that the filter is not that good I mean like it's not the high top level or something but it's still it's brought me some impressions and also some following from that filter so thanks to the person who originally created that filter and sorry for copy catting you but some people you know the bike was already created and people are recreating the bike but just in different colors so that's my way of saying like how you coping those things so the next filter is also the Pantone um, but okay the first one was the Pantone with the three Pantones and this Pantone with the five Pantones like this the, those squares like I will just put the video over here so uh, the way how I decided that we need more Pantone <laughs> maybe it's I pronounce it incorrectly but for me it's Pantone <laughs> it just sounds really funny so the way how I decided to go again with a new one is that I saw that the first one is just blowing everything and I was just like wow <laughs> maybe we need more squares in the filter so I decided like hey why should not do we create five so I decided to go with a five and uh, I put out oh, and I forgot to put keywords like I was checking it today I forgot to put keywords in that tone because I was creating a new pun tone and I forgot to put keywords and I was like how is it working then so basically what with people just writing pun tone and that filter is popping up I don't know how it works maybe someone used again who has a lot of followers or I honestly don't know because sometimes I try to post um, those uh, filters in my stories and out of that it's gaining more and more impressions and shares and those kind of things so basically yeah the third filter uh, like out of uh, I I'm sharing five five <laughs> we I'm sharing five filters that are blowing my spark yard for impressions and a lot of shares and those kind of things so yeah, the, the filter is like basically created because the first one succeeded and the first one succeeded because also like oh people like color palettes I'm just gonna do that something but a little bit different so that's always how it works and the way uh, It's basically took me around 30 minutes maybe less even to create that filter to be honest but uh, because of spark is updating more more and more like things um I had to update those filters because sometimes when you open the frame is not the the way they should be and it's like moving somewhere and also for different phones it looks different I don't know even though I tried to put the settings that uh, it should just move for the phone that like the screen phone uh, still doesn't work exactly that way that I wanted but sorry for people who can't use it properly but still people use that and I'm just like wow <laughs> so uh, the next filter is called grain and tan uh, I marked myself that it's from the TikTok but then I understood that uh, it's a mix of a TikTok and an Instagram I saw one day that uh, everyone were using this um, filter G6 or whatever was that one on a TikTok and it gives you some kind of tan really nice um, uh, effect or filter or whatever on your skin so I was just like oh I need something like that so I have tan and kira kira so the, with the sparkles but it's not doing that good as this one with the grain and the grain came to me just basically like that I was creating a different filter with the grain and I was just like oh why should I do put it over here so basically I haven't planned it exactly that I have to have the grain on the filter but still I added that and the filter just well uh, for the first like probably five months uh, it didn't go anywhere and I was just like okay it probably also have keywords something crane tan dust whatever is that keywords are really helping to uh, like uh, put your filter on explore page of the filters I don't know but it it really does but for Pantone the second <laughs> for Pantone the second I don't know maybe it just worked for the word I, I have honestly have no clue but for the grain and tan it's nice that you 
uh, can easily like just mix those things and basically for every new filter there is no need to create it from scratch you just uh, take uh, as your old filter as a base and you just add some other things and people are like wow there is something new it's also like uh, as a bike you just add the new color and people start buying the new color like for iPhone the new iPhone is coming they just change the color put a big camera and everyone is buying that so that's kind of the same thing first that you think like oh it should be something unique you should be something cool i mean if you're really bad at drawing probably you're not gonna go to the part where you, they create those kind of cute baby faces and those kind of things uh the one that page creating that's kind of a next level i mean i would never be able to do that so i'm just saying with the ones that are working for me the colors the palettes easy nice working awesome and that's fine for me I i'm gonna be on my niche they're gonna be on their top level niche so that's fine so the next filter is Snow White. Um, uh, I don't know if it's working now because it has the schedule only for the winter time because I think it has some snow or some kind of snowy effect. So you have the pale skin, you have the eyelashes, the eye color. And I don't know why that filter is going so good. Uh, I mean, I, I'm putting the filter over here. I honestly don't know why the filter is going so good. And the problem is that First thing, I think I created the filter called Frozen and I was just like, yeah, that's gonna be fun and it's gonna blow because it's Frozen, everyone watched the cartoon, so they're gonna use it. You see, the Frozen is not in this list. <laughs> but this Snow White, at some point, it's just there. I mean, I don't know how that works and who sees the filter maybe based on the story maybe people sharing i don't know but that filter gets a lot of impressions a lot of shares and those kind of things and those filters are really the ones that are taking the the, the first place like their top five uh, filters that are popular uh, on my instagram and i'm just like that's the next level and i see that pantone filters are going really good for me I don't know for maybe for other people also doing good. I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm trying to create different variations of the Pantone because it feels like, um, like you know, like people saying take your niche and go with that. So that's kind of the same point for me. It feels like if I will be more um, known, kind of known <laughs> for the Pantone filters, people are gonna be following more because oh they know that she gonna create something new with the pantone stuff so yeah that's go with the pantone i had some struggles with the sparky yard like with this pantone that is pantone and you know you can't use the name of the blah 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 but still finally at some point it's working now because before it has some struggles because of the trademark or something like that but yeah i mean it's just a drawing <laughs> we all can do and change things in photoshop and yeah, it's working fine now because the basic frame like if you don't put the pantheon thing there it's not that unique or something it's not that cool and the pantheon one is just like it's it's really the one that i even like i mean i created it i mean some of the filters that i created i don't like them that much but people like them so i'm just like okay i'm not gonna delete that one because people like that and once i said to one of the person who tagged me in the filter like hey i love this filter i'm like oh i was thinking of deleting it she was like no 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 and if even one person is using this filter and that person is super excited about that one i'm not gonna delete the filter because it's fine for me if not that many people using that filter but if this one person is enjoying it so much so i'm just like okay fine i don't have a problem with that i don't have a goal that um all my filters need to have like uh, more than 10,000 shares like more than 500,000 shares i don't have that even if there's only like 100 shares on the filter i'm still saving it because some people like it so okay it's fine it's fine you should be there no problem and also i saw the video where people were telling like oh you shouldn't delete your filters because one day it's gonna blow up so it also might happen that's why we're keeping the filter maybe we are updating changing something doing it a little bit nicer we're, we're trying improve those filters but yeah thank you so much for watching this video me sharing how i got ideas for the most popular filters that i have in my gallery uh link on my instagram is over there don't forget to follow me there and you will see all my new filters coming over there thank you so much for watching this video kisses bye bye there are more sparkier videos about creation filters coming soon don't forget
to watch my other videos on the spark yarn and how some of the filters were created thank you so much again kisses bye bye